Today I'm going to talk about City Plus, which is Citibank's digital offering that was just launched on the 17th of September. So what exactly is City Plus? I think City Plus is actually a wealth program introduced by Citibank that sits below City Go. City Go seems to be targeting customers with above uh, $200,000 of assets, whereas City Plus is looking at more around $50,000. So we'll take a look at some of the products they offer and see whether or not this is a compelling option for you to put your savings in. As with most new products, there is a sign of goodie and it's actually quite compelling I might say. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video to see the sign up gifts. The City Plus introduces exactly one new product as far as I can tell, which is the City Interest Booster account. The City Interest Booster account advertises up to 2.8% per annum interest on your returns, which sounds kind of attractive, I guess, but we have to break it down to see whether or not uh, it truly gives 2.8%. And also, City Plus uh, promises to let you learn about wealth, invest on the go, uh, things like that. It seems like an uh, answer to digital banks. So we'll see whether or not uh, City Plus can actually hold its own against the likes of Trust Bank, uh, GXS, which still hasn't launched, and uh, Mary Bank from uh, C Asia. The new City Interest Booster account promises 2.8% per annum and you can get it by accomplishing missions uh, such as the Save Mission, Invest Mission, Insure Mission, Spend Mission, uh, Borrow and Earn Mission as well as your Birthday Mission. So let's look at each of these in greater detail and see what they offer, uh, whether or not it's a compelling option for us to put our savings in. You begin with 0.3% per annum base interest up to a maximum of $50,000 of bank balance. And this rate is good until end of 2023. Now, for all the extra categories, you also get the interest on maximum of $50,000 of bank balance. For the save and earn mission, you have to increase your savings by $1,500 each month to earn 0.2% per annum interest. And take note that this 0.2% is only on the incremental savings, which means it's actually quite a poor rate and you wouldn't even get this on the entirety of your bank balance. So if you have $30,000 in your bank account the last month and this month you increase it by $2,000, you're only getting the bonus 0.2% on the $2,000. So that's not a lot. In the first place, 0.2% is a very low rate. And then only on the $2,000 increment. Yeah, so uh, this I think is not a very useful category to fulfill. The next mission is the invest and earn mission, which uh, gives you 0.6% on your entire balance if you perform three investments uh, worth at least $1,000 each. Now you can buy unit trust with this, uh, with Citibank of course or invest through their brokerage account. And both, of course, have fees, which I would say are slightly higher than uh, RoboAdvisors or one of the trading apps that you can find these days. So there is some cost to it, and you have to invest at least $3,000 across three transactions. So it's not the easiest of requirements to meet. The payoff is also not that fantastic, 0.6% per annum on $50,000 of balance is at most $25 per month. And do remember the cost is not as low as uh, using a robo-advisor or uh, one of the many trading apps out there. So I think you should uh, compare the cost of each platform and see whether or not this 0.6% is actually worth it. Unit trust investment through Citibank can incur as high as 1.5% sales charge, which I think is really on a high side. And also I would expect them to be actively managed funds with uh, high expense ratios. I think it will be better off with uh, robot advisors like Scythe or Endowers who uh, keep their costs lower. Yeah, so do take that in mind if you are looking at completing the invest and earn mission to achieve 0.6% per annum bonus interest. Buying shares through Citibank's brokerage incurs commissions and there is a hefty US $25 minimum. And this is really quite expensive considering the many trading apps we can access these days. So do take note of this again if you were considering using stock investment as a way to get more interest for your account. Now this video is brought to you by Weibo and you can use my link satisfy.com slash Weibo to sign up and get yourself fantastic goodies such as free shares. Weibo also currently gives you 0% commission as well as let you trade from as low as US $5 per trade. And therefore you can uh, lower your cost by a lot and trade with small amounts uh, and you get free shares to kickstart your investment journey. So I really thank Weibo for sponsoring this video because without sponsors like this, I don't think I will be that hardworking in making videos. Thanks Weibo again for sponsoring this video.
The next mission is the insurance mission. I'm just going to say you can immediately skip this because again, 0.6% uh, interest is not that fantastic. And then you have to buy an insurance product and it needs to be $5,000 per year. Now, if you stick to my advice of not buying whole life, not buying IOP, not buying savings plan, there is no way you can spend $5,000 a year on uh, insurance like term, which is beneficial for you, or hospitalization, right? Those cost nowhere uh, near $5,000 a year unless you're buying very, very high amounts of coverage. So I think for most people, I can safely say this is not good uh, category to fulfill at all. Skip this, do not pass go, do not collect $200, do not buy insurance products from a bank. The spend mission requires you to spend $500 on the debit card or a City Cashback Plus card. And the City Cashback Plus card only comes with 1.6% cashback, which is a very, very poor rate. Although there's a boost to 2% if you're a City Plus uh, member, which again is not that far off from 1.6%. Now, $500 can be spent on cards that give you 6% or even 8% cashback depending on your areas of spend. So your opportunity cost will likely be greater than the 0.2% that they are giving, which is a very low amount. Uh, so 0.2% on the entirety of $50,000 balance is roughly $8 of uh, extra interest per month. And the cashback you tend to lose from not using a 6 or 7% cashback card, yeah, it's going to be much higher than that. If you take a home loan of more than $500,000 with Citibank, you can actually get 0.8% bonus interest on up to $50,000 inside your Citi account. And I guess that's great if you have a mortgage with Citibank because it requires you to do nothing. The problem is uh, whenever I go and compare mortgages, uh, which you can do so using my link, uh, I have not seen Citibank offering competitive interest rate. Uh, so far so i cannot say for sure whether or not they have the best interest rates and it's likely that the interest they offer under this mission does not compensate for the higher interest that they charge through their home loan packages so yeah it's very important to compare your home loan packages and if Citibank happens to be giving a competitive rate then sure uh, pick that up and then you can enjoy 0.8 uh, percent under cd plus City Interest Booster Account. The last mission is a birthday mission and you will get it on your birthday month. A uh, very generous 0.1% per annum interest and that's like $4 plus for a balance of $50,000. Uh, I don't even know why they included this. I think it's so that they can make their overall uh, interest rate 2.8% rather than say 2.7%. I think this is just a bit ridiculous to include. So as you might know by now, uh, this savings account is not looking very good. The interest rate is not as generous as it advertises. Each of the mission has some um, bad thing to it. So I'm really not sure who this product is targeted uh, at because I can just easily open a trust bank account, put in $50,000 inside and I get 1% uh, interest without any conditions to meet. If I spend uh, on my card five times a month with no minimum spend, I get extra 0.2%. And of course, there's a DBS multiplier, UOB1, OCBC360, which all give around the same uh, interest rates, but I think the categories are much better than what City is offering. Uh, I think City needs to improve on their product offering because this at the current state is not a very compelling product. Now, City Plus customers who have both the City Cashback Plus card and the City Interest Booster account will enjoy 2% cashback earn rate on the City Cashback Plus card instead of the usual 1.6%. Uh, both 1.6 and 2% are very bad cashback rates. If you are willing to do a bit of homework on your spend, you can get at least 6 to 6.67% cashback with cards like OCBC Frank or UV Evo. And even if you don't want the fast that comes with such cards, you can use uh, your UOB Absolute card to top up your GrabPay MasterCard and you get about 2.9% in rebate uh, from that combination. So a 2% uh, earn rate is not that fantastic and it is also kept at a uh, cashback of $8 for the extra 0.4%. Just get a 4 miles per dollar card or one of the high earned cashback cards which you can see in my other videos. City is currently offering a sign up bonus which they say is up to $686 of sign up rewards. But let's break it down to see whether or not it's really that much. You get $130 if you fund at least $15,000 and hold it until the 6th calendar month, which is actually a pretty decent sign-up bonus. And you get further $60 if you have a CD credit card or you can always sign up for a CD credit card. Now, this $300 uh, requires you to apply for CD cashback 
uh, card as a new to city card customer and i would say 300 dollars is not that fantastic because you can actually easily get uh, more than that through my website link usually it's about 350 dollars sometimes it's 400 dollars uh, so this 300 dollars is not as good because it also requires you to spend three thousand dollars whereas uh, the link on my website requires to spend around 500 dollars so that's way better than this obviously this 120 dollar cashback sounds a lot but what they did was actually take 500 dollars per month multiply it by 12 and then calculating a 2% cashback on it, you can get way better rewards with one of the other high-earned cashback cards as I mentioned just now. And lastly, if you fulfill the bank account conditions, you can get uh, $76 of interest, which uh, again we have mentioned just now, not that fantastic. So I would say that the promos uh, mostly come from these two categories. Not too bad actually if you have some uh, amount of money like $15,000 to set aside for a while. If you want to sign up for this account, check out the description box to see if there are extra goodies to be given out. At the time of filming, I cannot confirm whether there will be bonus gifts for signing up through my link. So do check out the description box and subscribe to my Telegram group for more updates. So all in all, I think CD Plus so far has been quite lackluster because the bank account is really not very good. I love CD credit cards but this bank account really needs more work to be more compelling and I hope that Citibank will revise it to be more competitive in future and yeah stay tuned to my telegram group if they actually do improve on their product because I'll definitely report on it so uh, if you like my video do drop me a like it helps with my channel subscribe to my telegram group for more deals and content and I'll see you next video